Welcome to Nelly Security's online video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install a hard drive into your DVR system, specifically an iServe ESDV Alpha 4. Let's get started. Okay, the first step in the process is we need to remove all the little screws on the DVR. Now on this particular DVR, there's going to be six screws you'll need to remove to take off the top. Let's go ahead and do that. You can use a power screwdriver, you can even use a standard screwdriver. For time's sake, we're going to go ahead and use a power screwdriver. Once you have all the little screws taken off, go ahead and remove the top part of the DVR. Set it aside. This exposes all the internals to your DVR. Okay, there's four little slots. One, two, three, four. That's the what you're going to use to install your hard drive. Now, you'll need to get in your installation kit, the little brown box that comes in your DVR box. You'll need to get a couple things out. One, the blue SATA cable. Next, there should be five screws in your packet, depending on which DVR. This one has five. We'll only need four of those, the four big screws. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to start each of these screws onto the DVR. There's four spots right here on the bottom half. Just start them just enough to where you can insert them in the slots. Go ahead and install your hard drive. Make sure the power and SATA slots are exposed to your right and slide left. Go ahead and tip it up and you can use your screwdriver again just to tighten these screws down. And you don't want to over tighten it. Okay, now we're ready to plug in the power and the SATA cable. First we'll do the power. It's already installed right here in the DVR. Go ahead and just insert it in the slot with the middle flap pointed up towards you. Then we'll get the blue SATA cable. Install it onto the DVR first. You'll hear it click. Same thing, it goes right next to the power cable, metal flap pointed up towards you, and it clicks into place like so. Now we have the hard drive installed. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and put the top back on the box. Just take the top, make sure you have it the right direction. And just slide it right back on top, like so. Now go ahead and screw all the six screws back into the DVR. Once you have DVR. the DVR put completely back together, we're going to go ahead and plug it into our monitor and or TV and the power supply. So go ahead and get your power supply out, plug it into the outlet, and into the back of the DVR. And also, you'll need a video cable. In this particular instance, we're going to go ahead and use an HDMI cable. We recommend using HDMI cables, but you can also use VGA for your computer monitor if you need to. So now that we're plugged in, we're going to go ahead and power it on. And the last thing you're going to need, it comes with a remote in the box that you can use. Or, if you have a USB remote, uh, mouse, you can plug that in just to the front of your DVR box. Once it's plugged into your monitor and the power is turned on, this is the first screen that you're going to see. should be four squares. What we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and format the hard drive that we just installed. What I want you to do is right click, go down to the main menu, it's going to ask for a username and password. By default, the username is 6 eights, and by default, the password is also 6 eights, 888-888. This is going to bring up the settings menu. Okay, we're going to go into advanced settings, HDD manage. We only have one hard drive installed, so we're going to make sure it says number one, set to, format, and we're going to go ahead and execute that. Are you sure you want to clear the data on the hard drive? Yes, we are. Go ahead and reset. It should reset all the record time down here to zeros. 
12 a.m., zeros, 12 a.m., same thing on the bottom line there. Go ahead and hit OK. Settings will be applied after the system restarts. Thank you for choosing Nelly Security, and thank you for watching our video tutorial. For any questions, please contact us. You can go to nellysecurity.com and find our contact information. Thank you.